So let's say that I have an object and I want to give it a wrinkle effect like you find in clothes. So in order to do that, I'm going to take uh, a cube as uh, a sample object right here and I'm going to add in segments to this. So let's say I'm going to add segments like 20 by 20 by 20. So I need a high level of detail for this. So I'm just going to add 20 by 20 by 20. I'm going to press NB so that you can see the level of detail right here. So now once you do that, I'm going to convert this into uh, polygonal objects, so I'm going to press NB, uh, not NB, sorry, I'm going to press C right here. And you can see that I can now select individual faces. So I'm going to add in a subdivision surface onto this and drag the cube inside so it is smoother, as you can see right there. And on the cube, I'm going to add in uh, the smoothing right here under the deformers. So I'm going to add in a smoothing of there under cube right here. And you can see that now it is smooth. So if I were to increase and decrease the strength, you can see the smoothness actually goes around just like that. But I don't want it to be smooth like this. I'm going to go over to type. My strength is in 50, iteration 10, and stiffness 30 right now. So I'm just going to go over here from smooth to relax. So you can see that it is much more relaxing, but you cannot work around with anything else right now. So I'm just going to say initialize so that I can work around with the settings right here. So I'm going to go over here onto the cube. And in order to work around with the cloth brush tool, um, it is not an actual um, actual setting right here, which you just click. You have to go to magnet. So it, this is like a cloth selection. So you can increase and decrease the radius right over here. And if I were to click and drag, you can see that just like a cloth, you can move around this right over here. So you can go over here, go over here onto the side and move around just like this. So that is how the cloth object actually works around with. So you can see that this actually works around just like a cloth. So you can move that around move this around and you can see that the wrinkles happen just like you would find in a clothes and if I were to move this you can see that the cloth effect come into play so let me just move around randomly just like it on the spot just like that on the side and you can see that it is more like a cloth now and this is how you uh, work around to make a cloth uh, brush tool right here so you can bring out wrinkles so you want to make something like a pillow, you want to make something like a sofa, give it a bit of a cloth-like wrinkle effect, then you can actually do this also for the curtains as well. So if I were to increase the radius right here, move it around, you can see that it really looks like a cloth object now. So if I were to move it around just like this, you can see that it really looks like a cloth now. So let me just go to the smoothing right here. If I were to increase the strength, you can see that it, you get more wrinkles. But if I were to decrease the strength, it is more smooth. So if I want more wrinkles right here, I can increase. So that's the relaxed version right here. But if you were to go to smooth, it's much more smoother. Stretch, it is stretched out, but smoother. Relax, you get the more wrinkles. You can also increase the iterations. So that's just the increase in level of detail, as you can see. So I can have low or high amounts. So I'm just going to say 30. That seems like a good level of detail. I can also decrease the stiffness and increase. So if I were to increase the stiffness, it is much more smoother. Decrease it, it's much more cloth-like. So I can just go over here onto the cube. And if I were to move it, you can see that you see all the wrinkles like that, just like you are moving a cloth object right over here. So let me just go over onto the cube right here and then get give it out a shape that I want. So I can do this around with any of the shape. And this is the cloth brush tool. So this is how you can apply the cloth brush tool inside of Cinema 4D by using subdivision surfaces, smoothing, and a regular polygonal object. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.